If you haven't heard, Blender 5 has arrived with some awesome updates to its compositing system. In this release, Blender developers introduced a new compositing asset browser, which is an asset shelf right inside the compositor, and a bunch of new effect nodes that let you achieve cool looking stuff with minimal effort. So let's dive in and see what this is all about. Before we continue, I want to let you guys know that the super high market is going through its biggest sale of the year. So if you want to get some add-ons, texture packs, courses, you name it, it is the best time to do so. And if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of some of the best add-ons and courses out there. Without further ado, let's jump right in. The addition of the compositing asset browser in Blender 5 is like having library of ready-made effects in addition to some node groups. You can simply drag and drop these pre-made setups straight into the compositor node tree. Blender 5 even comes with a starter set, which is around 8 effect templates or presets, including things like chromatic aberration, camera grain, and vignette. As you can imagine, this will get you from a black image to something stunning in no time. And I think this is super exciting because it will save you from rebuilding common node setups, I mean from scratch. So if you want a quick vignette or less distortion effect, just grab the preset from the asset shelf and plug it in and you will get an instant style boost with almost zero effort. Blender 5 also adds some brand new composited nodes that I believe will drastically simplify common post-processing tasks. For instance, the new chromatic aberration node simulates the subtle RGB lens fringing effect that you will get with real camera lenses. And this is basically a rainbow-like offset of colors that gets stronger toward the image edges. So instead of manually splitting or offsetting color channels to create this look, now it is just one node. Likewise, a sensor noise node lets you add realistic grain and noise to your image, mimicking the random noise produced by a camera sensor for a more organic and filmic feel. And there is even a vignette node that darkens the corners of the image for an instant cinematic focus effect. As you can see, all these new nodes are built right in, so you no longer have to cook up complex node groups or maybe rely on external add-ons to get these effects. And these updates aren't just about shiny new toys, they actually change the Blender's compositor. The asset browser means you can quickly grab an effect and tweak it to your liking, rather than constructing it node by node from scratch. It also encourages a more modular workflow. You can turn your favorite node setups into assets or presets and reuse them across different projects, or even share them with friends or colleagues, or maybe share them online, which makes achieving a consistent look much easier. Plus, Blender's compositor is now more tightly integrated with other areas of the software, which means you can even apply compositing node effects directly in the video sequencer via a new modifier, which is making Blender a more of an all-in-one tool for editing and effects. And to put things into perspective, imagine a few ways you might use these new tools. So if you're finishing a 3D render and want to give it a cinematic vibe, you can drag in the vignette asset and gently darken the edges and maybe drop a sensor noise node to add a touch of grain and voila, instant shot and film atmosphere with minimal setup and without wasting a lot of time. As you can see the beauty of this update is that they open you to a lot of possibilities and give you more options to do your work or your personal projects. And there you have it guys. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, also please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.